Hello my beautiful crafty friends, I am Katia with Lunar Sun Creations and today we are going to be doing a shutter card. So it opens up like that and you've got your secret sentiment inside and magnetizes closed. Um, this is a very old technique, it's been around for a long time but I have had a couple requests to do a tutorial on it so that is what I'm going to do. Alright, so getting right into it, you're going to need to cut a piece of cardstock that is 10 inches by 7 inches. You will need another piece that is 8 inches by 4 inches. And then two pieces that measure 4 by 4. And I recommend doing these out of a colored cardstock that's going to match the pattern paper you plan to use on the card. You can do it in white, but I'm going to do it in uh, color, so these are 4x4, four four, two of them. Okay, so grab your scoreboard and we're going to do some scoring first. Okay, so on the 10 inch side, we're going to score uh, the first piece at 10 and a half. Nope, 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 no, we're not. <laughs> on the 10 inch side, we are going to score this piece at 2 and a half and seven and a half. So this is going to be a five by seven card when it's done. Okay, so that's the first piece. The eight by four piece, you're going to score it on the eight inch side and we're going to score at half and at seven and a half. Okay, and then the four by four pieces, we are going to score at half on one of the sides because it's a square, so e any side is fine. Okay, boom, scoring done. You can put your scoring board away. All right, so for the first piece, um, we are going to fold on those score lines. Um, this is going to be covered up with pattern paper, so I'm going to fold this in, and it doesn't matter if there's marks there. Give it a crease. So these should meet in the middle and form a gatefold. Okay, so that is your first piece. You can set that aside for a minute. Um, we are going to add some score tape to the half inch sections on the other pieces. So like that, and score tape onto the half inch sections of the colored cardstock. just like that. Okay, so we're going to work with this piece first. So I want you to take a ruler and a pencil. Just we're going to make some marks on here. So we're going to mark the center both uh, lengthwise and widthwise. So it's two, it's four inches wide so we're going to mark at two inches going down and then we're going to mark at four inches going this way just so we have a center point. Okay and we can erase these marks later. Alright so we've got our center point now and we are going to take a circle die cut so the one that I'm using is three inches in diameter. Okay, so I'm going to line this up so that it is centered, that that center dot is right in the center of your circle. Okay, and then I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. I've just got a little bit of mint tape here still. Get rid of that. Perfect. Okay, so now we are going to, I'm going to miter the corners here, just cutting at a bit of an angle. You don't absolutely have to do this. I just find that it looks a little bit neater when you do, so I'm just going to miter those corners. So we've just got a little bit of an angle there, and I'm going to crease my score lines. Okay, and now bring in your gatefold piece 
Now I'm going to make a little mark right at the top at center as well. So this is five inches in the center, so we're going to mark it at two and a half. This is just so things are lined up properly and we've got our line here as well. So we're going to remove the score tape just from one half and we are going to adhere this to the top, lining it up with that little mark that you made. Okay, just like that. Now we are going to take our colored cardstock pieces. Okay, so we're going to work on the back side, so the side that's opposite the score tape, and we are going to draw a center line on this too, and it'll be, we're working on the back side, so that you won't see this line. So I'm drawing a line at two inches here, which is right down the center. Also draw a line that is half an inch from your score line, or if it makes it easier for you, one inch from the edge of the piece. And we're gonna draw that going downwards. Okay, so I've got a line there and a line there. All right, now we're going to bring this in, line up the, the vertical line that you've just drawn, line it up with the score line in your card. Okay, and then also line it up with this vertical line that you have here. Draw a dot just a little ways away from the edge, about a quarter inch away from the edge, and then draw a dot at this point, and draw a dot at this point. So there, each one of them, and I'm just gonna bring this up for you to see. So we've got a dot here, a dot right here, and a dot right here. I'm gonna maybe do it in gold so you can see it a little better. Okay, so that's what you've got so far. And now we're going to take this out and we are going to connect those dots. Okay, just like that and form a triangle. And now bring your other piece in, put it behind and we're going to cut them at the same time so that they are exactly the same. So hold them quite tightly so you, you make sure that they are the same and now we are going to cut along that line. Okay, so now you've got two pieces that look like that. Before we go any further, we are going to add some uh, patterned paper. So for this part here, okay, so cut a piece of patterned paper that is three and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. So it leaves just a tiny bit of a border around there. Okay, holding it in place, I'm just going to draw on the back side where that circle is and that way we know they will be lined up perfectly and now using that same die cut circle we're going to cut that out and now we know exactly where to put our die cut okay so we've got that and then you can use this die cut circle for another project so now i'm going to adhere this piece down okay so i'm just going to use some wet adhesive to glue this down All right, 
right and then I've got a couple strips because you're just going to see a little bit on the edge here the rest is going to be covered up so I've just cut two strips that are six and three quarters by three quarter inch wide so I'm just going to adhere those right in there okay and then you will need two pieces for your side bits that measure two and a quarter by six and three quarters so I'll add those on Fantastic. Okay, and then on the front, you'll need two pieces that are the same size as those inside pieces, two and a quarter by six and three quarters. But uh, right now, I'm just going to adhere the left side on because I want to do a magnetic closure. So I'm going to leave the right side for um, a minute until I get the rest of the card finished. Oops. Okay, so for now I'm just going to put that piece on. Okay, now open it up again. Um, give a good crease to your score lines on your two little pieces here. And again, I'm just going to trim a tiny smidgen at an angle off the corners here. Okay, let's get those out of the way. Bye bye biddies. All right, so now we are going to, you can just barely see that mark. We're gonna try and line these up. The point, let me just bring this in closer. This point here should line up with the tiny little mark that you still have right here, okay? And we're gonna line the edge of the piece up with the score line. So you want to make sure that this can still fold, okay, but you want it right up to the score line. Okay, my camera just turned off unexpectedly, so I'm just going to do the other side just to show you what I did because I don't know if I caught it all. Okay, so with your pieces here, you want to line the part with the score tape. The edge of that piece is going to line up with this score line here and you want to make sure that it is even with the first one and the center point of your triangle should be even with your tiny little mark that you still have here from your horizontal 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 uh, line that you drew on the uh, piece on the this long piece here okay and now remove the score tape and keep a hold of everything and fold this piece closed and that will adhere that in place. Okay, now we want to get um, our sentiment or something in here. So I am going to use this green paper and die cut um, that same circle Okay, and now I am going to stamp this uh, happy birthday from um, Impression Obsession. So I'm just going to stamp that right into the center of this circle. So I'm just going to put it on a block. Got some Hero Arts ink here. Just going to ink her up. You could definitely use a stamping platform. I'm just going to risk it here and hope that I get a good impression. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to try and line this up in the center. Give that a good press. All right, perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to adhere this underneath these. Just like that. Oops, out of frame, there we go. So I'm just going to lift those up and adhere this down. So the nice thing about uh, wet adhesive is it does give you a minute of, not a minute, but a, a few seconds of wiggle room so you can kind of 
position it perfectly. Okay, just like that. Now we can remove the score tape from the other side and adhere that down. Okay, perfect. And now this closes and give that a close and a burnish. Okay. And there you go. Now we'll work on this part here. So I want to have this little sentiment. I'm making a birthday card. So I'm going to mat this on a couple different um, card stocks just to make it a little bit thicker. So first I'm going to go on the pattern paper that I used in the beginning. Actually, do I want black first? No, I'm going to use this and then black. Now you can certainly just use a tie a ribbon around it or do a belly band if you prefer to do that, but I want it to be a little bit... Uh, I just like the magnets, so any excuse to use them really. Alright, I'm going to trim that up and then put it on some black. Okay, so before I back it on the black cardstock, like that. I'm going to put one single magnet back here. Okay. So one magnet. And now I'm going to back it on some cardstock, or the black. I'm just going to use my ATG gun just because it's right beside me. Okay, so put that onto the black cardstock and trim around it. Okay, so now I'm going to grab another magnet, let it find its buddy through the cardstock, put just a little bit of score tape there, okay, and now I'm going to place it on my card where I think I'm going to want it, so try and center it left to right. Push that down to adhere that magnet. Now we can add this pattern paper here. There is absolutely no reason why I am switching between ATG gun and, and wet adhesive. It's just what happens to be closest. <laughs> that is all. Okay, and I'm placing that down. Okay, and now we're going to add some adhesive just to this half of our little saying there. Um, I'm going to use both score tape and wet adhesive just to switch it up even more just because you know I want all the adhesives to feel like they're loved. <laughs> I'm sure that adhesive jealousy is a thing. <laughs> I want them all to feel like they're welcome on this project. Um, anyway, and so other adhesive, there we go. Okay, so now because the magnet is there, it already kind of knows where it wants to go. And then we just adhere down the other half of it, make sure we're straight. And it opens like that. I feel like I'm not completely even because these are a little bit smaller than these. So I, I, I don't think I'm... Yeah, I can see there's a tiny bit more over here than there is on here, so I'm not entirely centered, I think, is what it is. I think I'm, this whole part is a tiny bit over that way. But that's okay. I'm not completely centered, but perfection is highly overrated. <laughs> I say that because I'm imperfect. Well, everyone's imperfect. Anyway, it still works great, and I still think it looks awesome. And by the way, um, the pattern paper that I used. Um, it's some of my fluid art, my acrylic pores that I took pictures of and then made into a paper collection. Um, it is available in my Etsy shop if you wanted to check it out. So there is our card for the day. I hope that you give it a try. It's a really cool technique. I don't like, I mean some of the older ones the old, it's one of the first ones that I learned actually, it's in one of my very first tutorials and it's still very cool. I love the surprise kind of cards.
All right, so there you have it. And I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you like what you see, please subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to try and do some more pop-up cards, I think, on my channel. All right. Enjoy your day. Love you lots. Big hugs. Bye.